so there's the dog with his jacket on um, yeah it's a wet walk but there we go so that's my evening I'm gonna go home today I didn't get around to making the bouquet it was that time just got well away from me completely um, and then I had things to do with the children and you know life so I've got this make this bouquet because it's being collected at 10 30 so I've got about uh, just over an hour to get this done which is plenty of time um, but I've also got flowers being delivered and I don't know what time he's coming he normally comes about 10 10 30 so that's gonna be a bit of a clash but anyway um, hopefully if I remember I'll take you with me I'm just gonna I have started this bouquet and then I realized I had videoed it but we're good at doing this week-long video thing um, but anyway so I'll show you what it's looking like and then um, I'll I'll do a quick time-lapse of me finishing it okay so this is the bouquet so far so obviously I've got some bits and pieces. This is the stuff that I was going to show you that I got from my mother-in-law's the other day. Um, the purple verbena has started shedding a little bit, so I'm not sure I'm actually going to use it now. Um, and then this is what I collected yesterday from my plot. Um, I really want to use these big red ones, but um, they just don't really go. So this is where I'm up to at the moment. I'm just actually filling now. So I've done my major bits and now it's just to fill in gaps with the fever few um i haven't got a lot of filler at the moment um because it's all been damaged by the rain so that's a bit annoying but anyway let's get on with this Okay, so I think we are done. So um, that is the, the front. I don't know if you make it out. It's so much stuff at the back. Um, let me just turn it around for you. Hold on. Right. So this is the front, and then as we go round, it's still got interest all the way around but my bouquets are all designed to be seen from all directions but I always have a front and a back so that is the front so that's that one done okay so what I've got need all I need to do now is put the care card with this so I've got a care card just says you know to snip the ends off um, keep them out of direct sunlight um, blah 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 that sort of thing um, so I always put a care card with it it's also got my a, um, all my details on it so stating that I do weddings uh, funerals events make sure you always put something like that in um, because then if this is given as a gift and they think wow what beautiful flowers at least they know where they've come from and so if they want to order flowers again they'll come to you um, so I always make sure I put a care card in it'll hang just here and it's a really nice and it matches the boxes um, so I'll do that in a second um, and then I'm just what are we on it is 20 to 10, so um, I'm just waiting for the guy, the delivery guy, to bring my flowers. Um, then I, this after, So once they're here, I'll show you the flowers and then we'll get those conditioned. And this afternoon, I may well get on with doing the uh, table posies, because they're all going to be in water. If I do them today, it's one less thing I have to do tomorrow. Um, and then they can sit in water in the shed, and hopefully they'll all be okay. So... Um, yeah, I'm thinking I might do that today. Right, let's get on. Okay, so the delivery is here. Um, I've actually had two deliveries. Um, so I've had the delivery from the wholesaler and I've also had a delivery from a lovely lady who is supplying me with flowers. So she is a flower farmer herself um, and she, I, I sort of reached out to her to see if she had any flowers um, and she has brought, I'm just looking at them, they're so gorgeous. She's brought some lovely flowers. So let me show you what she's brought. So she's brought me a big old mixed bunch of a bit of everything, which is lovely. It's, um, a bucket full of like fillery flowers. Um, and then over here, oh, this is hers. Um, lovely big thing of the sunflowers, which she was desperate for. And look at these ones. They're just beautiful. Really pretty. So, um, and we're trying to work out what this is. She was told it was a sort of dahlia of some sort but i'm not sure what it is so if anybody knows what this is please let me know because uh, i would definitely like to plant some of this it's really pretty um 
and then over here I've got all my buckets lined up ready for the wholesale so I've just started unpacking the wholesale so this box um, I know people are sometimes interested in how much things cost so this box of flowers has cost me 110 pounds um, and it is a lot of um, um, oh what are these called they're like um, Campanula oh my brain's just gone Campanula there I've ordered quite a lot of that because I just think it looks really pretty and it's going to look and it has some lovely side shoots which will be great for the table centres because um, they'll be slightly shorter um, and I want them to be really fat the table centres they're going to go in the little square ja um, jam jars which I don't think I've shown you but I'll show you the square jam jars when I make them so I'm going to do I'm actually going to do that this afternoon I'm going to make all the table centres up this afternoon and the big sunflower um, display which one of the brides wants as well so I'm going to do that this afternoon so that tomorrow all I've got to do is focus on doing the actual bride stuff because I've also got to make a wrist corsage and the buttonholes and the buttonholes can then stay in water overnight um, so they'll all have their stems in water um, I'm not taking any of the stems off I don't think we'll see um, if I have to wear anything that'll be done Saturday morning first thing um, but I try to try to do it all the night before so that it's not a massive rush so if anything does go wrong I've got time on the Saturday morning before the wedding anyway enough chit chat I've got to get on and um, I'll see you in a bit so good morning it is Friday morning um, it's not as early as I was hoping but it is quite early still um, and I unfortunately didn't get around to doing any of the flowers yesterday which was a bit annoying but things happen I've got children off school one my, my daughter had to go to a carnival we had to sort all that out and this was a purchase from yesterday and we had to go all over trying to find a gazebo because the one that I had from last year blew down it was really old anyway and it was falling apart and it just I couldn't put it back together and where I have been doing my flowers which is out on my decking at the back of my house which has got an undercover area yesterday was just getting too hot and the flowers were starting to wilt um, it's like it's polycarbonate so it's like a greenhouse um, so I came over to do it where I used to do my flowers and then realised there was a problem with the, the gazebo. So then I had to go and get a gazebo. <laughs> and so we put the gazebo up and then had to get ready for the carnival. I got back and I just, I just couldn't do it. By the time it got back, it was about eight o'clock and I thought I can't start now. So I have got to do a lot today so I've got to do everything today so some of these flowers are being picked up at six o'clock today <clears throat> it is nine o'clock now I should have started about an hour ago really but again kids dog things like that and I had to make sure I had fuel because that is one of the things I forget sometimes and I know it's something that I shouldn't do but sometimes you've got a wedding on a Saturday morning you've got to make sure you've got fuel in your car <laughs> So this morning I thought I'd go and get the fuel because I knew it was running low, so I've done that. Anyway, let me show you all my beautiful flowers, all laid out, ready for me to get doing. Um, and I'll show you my purchase, it's really cheap, don't expect anything. This is part of my old gazebo, which I've used as a side because the sun was coming in this way a minute ago, but it looks like it's going to rain again. So I'll show you, turn you around and I'll show you what I've got here. So this is my new setup. Um, I actually really like it here and it's going to be easier to sweep because the floor isn't got the grooves like the decking has and also it's away from the house a bit as well so it's not far from the house but it's away um, so this is going to be good um, obviously this is going to come down once this wedding's done I just needed somewhere to put the, the flowers out of the rain but not somewhere really hot so that was where I used to do it and you can see this was the old gazebo frame but it's all fallen down and rusted because it's super old so um, I think it's about nearly 10 years old <laughs> and just had it. So I put this sale up the other day when I was doing a wedding, but it just wasn't enough cover. So that's why we got the gazebo. Um, so let's have a look. So I've laid all the flowers out. So I'll be stood in the middle. And so the flowers are all around me here. So I don't have to move very far because the last thing you want to be doing is moving left, right and all over. And as I said before, I do arrange from the buckets. I don't lay it out flat when I'm doing this sort of thing because, um, bridal work can sometimes take a while, a while and you don't want the flowers out of water for too long um okay so i've got my lizzies i've got some smaller um sunflowers here that are going in the bridal po posies i've got um some 
Canterbury Bells is going to call some something else then. Canterbury Bells. I really love these. These are so pretty. I think you saw some of these yesterday. Um, then I've got a couple of dahlias dotted around as well. I wanted to go and get some more, but the rain has mushed them, which is really annoying. I did buy some freesias because um, I've got a, a corsage and some buttonholes and stuff to do, and they do hold up really well out of water. Um, I also got some flocks, but I don't think it's going to be out enough to use, so I may not use that now. This is a bundle of stuff I got from my mother-in-law. So we've got the Rebecca. I've got some nine bark, which I thought would stand up against the um, the yellow of the sunflowers because I've got to do a sunflower bouquet in a minute. This was a mixed stuff I got from my lovely lady that supplies me with flowers. Um, so I've left it in the bucket overnight, but there's some, a real mixture in here, which I need to go for in a minute. Some dahlias and some gorgeous sunflowers, which I showed you yesterday. Um, and then I've got my um, fever few. I cannot remember what this is called, but I've told you on a video before, um, but it's brilliant. I love this stuff. Um, in replace of my Ami, which decided it wasn't going to do anything this year. Um, another bucket full of stuff for my lovely lady. Um, and these things were awesome because yesterday they were all like this and I wasn't sure whether they would work, but actually in water they seem right. So they're going to be good for the table posies, I think. Um, I like them because they're different. Um, mixed bucket from the allotment. Um, but as you can see, it's just the petals are damaged, which it's just the rain and look, all the petals are falling off. But I think those were the ones that I'm going to use for the petals anyway. So most of that bucket is going to be used as petals for um, a bucket of confetti that I've got to make. So I'm not really worried about that bucket. Beautiful bucket full of sunflowers. Um, some of these sunflowers are from wholesale and some are from my um, lovely lady. Um, then I've got... Pitsporum, this is the variegated Pitsporum, um, and then we're back to the beginning. Um, and on the table, my cup of tea, um, I've laid out the nine table posies that I've got to make. And then over here, I haven't quite finished, but I've got three bridesmaids, I've got another bride, and then I, sh I need another one of these for a bride as well because um, one of the weddings is, isn't having bridesmaids, so that's fine. Um, and then, oh, these sunflowers as well came from my lovely, lovely lady. Um, and I've put them there because I need to make a sunflower bouquet and I'm going to use those ones for the sunflower bouquet. Um, I mean, they look really, that's how I want it to look, but I'm going to put the um, the nine bark in it just to give it a bit of um, uh, texture. But I quite like the leaves. So I'm going to take some of the damaged leaves off, but I'll leave some of the others. So I'm going to go and get the rest of the jars. Um, and water for the jars obviously and then I'm going to get cracking. Um, I will try and show you some of the process but I need to be quick today, <laughs> real quick. So I'll probably sh get some of the bride stuff, show you the brides, do the bridesmaids, show you the bridesmaids, do the posies, do the posies. Um, so I will say though that I do things my way so I know a lot of people would do table centres and all that first and then leave the bride till last but I like to do the brides first so that they get the first pick of all the best flowers that I've got here um, because it's their day, they're the most important so the brides need to be done first um, and then I can choose everything that is looking its best. Um, I have tried to do it and then I've put all the best looking stuff into a bucket and then done them later but I just prefer to do them first, just the way I work, I do the brides first. Um, they're going to be in water anyway so it makes no difference whether I do them now or if I do them at five o'clock tonight really they're going to be in water and they'll be in a they'll go into my shed which is dark and cool so they'll be in there overnight so that's how i work so i'll do the brides bridesmaids table posies and then any leftovers are used for the buttonholes so i've got to make a corsage a wrist corsage today as well um which i don't normally do um so I'm going to get that one done because that's got to be done by six o'clock so that's something I do need to get on and do but obviously it's not going to be worn until tomorrow afternoon so I'm just a little bit but how to keep it dry but I'm going to have a quick research on the um, chambers for putting it in the water, in um, the fridge. Um, I have done it before and it has worked so. Okay so I have done the two brides so two very different brides actually so I really wanted to use these gorgeous red dahlias. I had two of them and I only had one of this lovely red um, gladioli. So I've gone with this for the bride that isn't having any bridesmaids um, purely because um, then I haven't got to match this to anything. So that's that one. And all my well, all my bouquets have a flat back 
um, so that they can be held, I've got too many buckets, against them or to the sides. Um, and then they haven't got to hold them out like this. They're just and it feels more comfortable. So that's that one. I think that's really, really pretty. Um, so it should sit like that. So that's slightly off centre and that's slightly off centre. So the angle's going that way. Um, obviously I've not finished them yet. I haven't wrapped them in their ribbons. Um, so that's that one. And then this one is really stunning. I actually really love this one. Um, and this was the lady that wanted the sunflowers. It has it's a slightly smaller one, um, but it's packed with the sunflowers. And I think this is a really, really pretty. Um, I love the colour of these dahlias with the yellow. Um, not so pretty looking. As you find with the fever pea, sometimes it gets a bit of a brown middle. But yeah, I really like that. I've put a bit of the nine bark in. I've got the pretty, um, the pinks and the yellows. I think it goes really, really nicely. And um, she wanted bright, bright colours. So I actually think that looks really, really pretty. And she asked, it, asked also asked for some lavender, which I've put in as well. But yeah, so that's that one. Again, that's got the flat back. That's how I always make them. Um, but yeah, perfect. So now I'm on to the bridesmaids.